Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Twisted Word Show yet again. We are back, and this time we are going to discuss about Mariana. No, <laughs> not going to discuss about Mariana. We are going to discuss. About, we are going to discuss about a topic that Mariana is <laughs> going to tell us. We love to talk about Mariana, I though. I thought we could have a video talking about me. I could tell you a lot of things. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, today's topic is something that Yash and I both um thought about but for different reasons. And that is to, uh, when it is a good idea to take a break from writing. Yes. Um, so for me personally, well, we'll get to that point. I think, let, Yash, you start. What, what is the first point you would like? We have a few points we would like to discuss. So Yash, what would you? So the, like the thing that happened with me was, since we both had different experiences, which led to the idea for this video, uh, what happened with me was that I am actually very close to finishing Do Not Kill a Spider. However, I feel stuck on the last chapter because it just so happens that I want the last chapter to be uh, so much like that, that it connects to the reader on such a level that the ending is as impactful as it's supposed to be or as impactful as it was when I first thought of it and that feeling is not allowing the words that I want out of myself uh, in onto the paper so and, and that is that that's happening from the past two weeks so <laughs> I just sit in front of the computer and instead of writing I simply read what I've already written and <laughs> that's how time goes uh, so so I, I decided that maybe, and also I have been working on Do Not Kill a Spider for the last, or before the two weeks, I, I have been working quite uh, uh, intensively, intensely, uh, mm -hmm. what's the word, uh, yeah. uh, on it. And, Intense, yeah. and because of that, I also felt tired and uh, kind of, it was taking the joy out of the writing. It was making me feel like it was something that I had to do instead of something that I want to do. So yeah. now I have decided to step away for a while, take a break for a week or two weeks and then get to it with a fresh mind and after a break, uh, just so I can relieve myself of that feeling that uh, this needs to be this way, this needs to be that way and all that. Mm. So, and that okay. is the tip that I, or advice that I'd like to share that whenever you feel stuck, whenever you feel overwhelmed, it is a sign, it is a clear sign that you as a writer need to take a break, you as a writer need to slow down a little bit, relax, appreciate the progress that you have made up to that yeah. point, and then get back into the game after some time, after some relaxation. Marianne. Yeah, and I think it's important to um, realize that you've made that progress, to exactly. keep that in mind. So, some, mm. so I was just saying that uh, if you continue, if you force yourself to continue, then that uh, joy or that feeling or that appreciation which you should have for the progress that you have made will also tend to just fade away and fade away into nothing and you ne will never be able to appreciate it because you are so lost in blaming yourself for not being able right. to do what you yeah. want to do. Yes, and that actually brings us to the point of mental fatigue. Um, if you feel like, like, Yash, like you were saying that um, you're stuck on ideas or the ideas just stop flowing or um, you feel drained physically and emotionally um it will if you then force the writing it you you will pick that up whoever reads it will pick up that it's different it's not your usual creative writing that, exactly. um, that they that they used to yeah. um so it's better then to take a break rest when you need it because um in the long run, you're going to do more harm than good if you suffer from mental fatigue and now you're forcing yourself to write something that you're not ready to write. Exactly. 
it is important to realize that we are not machines we are human yeah. beings and there isn't just a button that you can turn on and turn off we yes. as humans need to have a subjective sense and understand the situation and it is important to take breaks it is important to relax and which brings us to the next point of focus now uh, it just so happens that sometimes you are distracted by something else that is going on in your life or or maybe uh, locally just around you uh, your family or just anyone or the kids or everything uh, it maybe you should allow the things around you to settle a little bit and then yes. and do the writing so it is also okay to do that not always is delaying your goals or your deadlines pushing your deadlines a bad thing because if you're doing it for a reason that would uh if not taken impact your writing in a bad way then it is a good thing i messed up that sentence <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say is that if you're taking the decision, if you're not taking this decision and that is impacting your writing in a bad way, then it is not a good thing. So maybe taking the decision to rest, taking the decision to take a break is good uh, because like yeah. Diana said, in the long run, it is going to be uh, uh, beneficial for yourself, for your mental health. And that's it. And Mariana, yeah. it's the next point we have. Exactly. Yes. Um, it actually it is linked to what you were talking about. It's um, when you feel emotionally overwhelmed after writing a scene. Now, that's the thing that I experienced where I wrote something and it was so personal and um, emotional and close to me that afterwards, for days afterwards, I couldn't even think of writing. Um, and I think it's good then to take a break. Um, yes. It comes back to the mental fatigue again. It's all linked because um, physically and emotionally, I wasn't capable of writing anything for a couple of days after. And it wasn't a long story. It was a short scene, but it was very intense. Um, and I think also because it was very personal. Um, it, it was good to take that break so that I could come back, you know, meaner than ever to carry on where I left off and write something new. It wasn't so depressing and, <laughs> and emotionally challenging. <laughs> but at the same yeah, time, so. uh, we should appreciate the fact that whenever you feel this way, you should uh, uh, realize that you wrote something impactful that even as a writer, it impacted you so much that it took away your ability to uh, get to another thing before fully digesting what you have already created yeah. with that thing. So that's a great, that's an excellent yeah. thing. And you deserve to take a few days off. You deserve to cherish that moment fully. Yes, exactly. Which brings us to the last point, which is to always, always, always remember that what you're doing, writing or anything, you should enjoy that process. And upon mm -hmm. completion of your goals, make sure to always celebrate because that is what will make your uh, accomplishment memorable. And it will uh, also create that sense of, uh, it will also motivate you for the next time too, because you know that yeah. after it's done, you will get to celebrate. Yes, exactly. It's motivating absolutely and with that note we encourage you to always enjoy writing never stress about yeah. it and realize that it is okay to take a break when you don't feel like writing when you feel stressed yeah. or when you are not focused or and all the points that we discussed make sure yeah exactly absolutely make sure to always enjoy and have fun writing we will see you yeah. in the next video thank you for watching Bye-bye, everyone.